Hi guys, I'm Isaac Takami and welcome to Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. Alright, so we met our first dad, we finally have seen the new house. Oh, oh, close that. Our first visitor already? Welcome to the door and open it. Hello? Oh, hi. You look like you came straight out of like a fucking fancy prep school type of thing. That's a clean cut man walk stands by at my door branching a plate of cookies. Hell, hello? For my manners. My name's Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. I'm Isaac. That's what my name is. Moon man thought I'd bring over some cookies. My dad, Dr. Christine, wanted, wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. It's over and whispers. Between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. I share that. Kids, right? Cookies, huh? That's when you fucking fly in, huh? Now, nice to meet you. Hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Uh, Come back. Eh, she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there has to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh. Uh. I meant. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met. My social life is already in a tailspin. What if it's too late to move again? Uh. Yeah, okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. <laughs> we stand here qu there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Could dress it quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear the knock on the door opening, and I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> I'm your neighbor, Joseph. First, not to talk about your dad's best. <laughs> I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul de sac, and I'd love for you to come and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? <laughs> Sounds great. My daughter, man, I would love to stop by. So for kids, it's perfectly normal amount of children to have. And seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Starts walking away, but stops for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising kids around can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about it, talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> you look pretty young to me. But suit yourself. That just is gone. He seemed nice. Looks back into the living room, crumbs on her face and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone, I'm sorry. <laughs> Makes you feel any better. They weren't very good. So you eat all of them anyway? I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. It's the best neighbors in the whole cul sack. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Step outside. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which, ho which house is his. I'd hazard a guess that the big one with all the well groomed blonde children in the sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. Remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. A wave. Hey, guys, is your dad around? They look like. Well, except for you. In the blue, the two in pink just look like they're not even fully there. Just wanted to return this nice play. Thank you for the cookies. Definitely Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Hey. They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. I chuckle nervously. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this play down on the ground real gentle and back away slow. Right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. Born as we, we scurry away, we can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. Ah. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. <laughs> let's check out the park. Yeah, let's go pet some dogs. Do what you love and the money will come. Nice to know. I'm gonna stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, flowers in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. Place is nice. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroll over there? Government operative. 
Run to you, baby. Eventually, end up in a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. You start to make your way over to it when. Heads up! Oh. Ow, bitch! Frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Ooh. Oh. Corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me. Why can't I Hi, Corgi. I like your necktie. <laughs> and, oh, God, this is the cutest dog. <laughs> pet the dog. Butt pet? Dairy truck. Give him those head rubs. Go ahead, head rub. All smiles there. Could have caught that. Oh, hey. Giant Irish guy. <laughs> Alright. Guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over and takes the recipe from me. Oh. Not, not with your face. I catch you with my teethness. Guard this round. Not again. Not ever again. <laughs> I'm Brian, by the way. I'm I was this is my daughter Amanda. Hunter sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Dog's cool. Old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian just gestures, so gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. Let's sit down, heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. Her her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old are they supposed to be? Because I had a reading comprehension of a, a fucking college student by 7th grade. So, that doesn't help me. How old is she? <laughs> 10. She's a precocious little... Little youngster. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. What? <laughs> Go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Oh my. That's my girl. And I get in there. Okay, okay. <laughs> DHTR? It just recently won a local photography award. Congratulations. Brian is <laughs> dead. Actually, just won a statewide poetry contest. I lost 15. What's DTHR? Oh. Man, it's spelling bee photo. Spelling bee. Pull up a photo of Amanda winning her 10th grade spelling bee. I fucking love this. Spelling bee. Right. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy's getting prepped for annual spelling bee right now. This will be her third win in a row. Yikes, you lose five. He's a president, too, of course. Anyway, high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> Can I get a band-aid? Apply it to Amanda's arm. What are you doing, Dad? It's an unusual. What? Ah! I'm taking it out. Impossible. I can barely get. My... I'm getting my. I thought the band-aid was supposed to heal me. Oh, the old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful. He said it first way at 10 months. This potty's still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. <laughs> like that. Alright, uh. Uh, man is in honors classes this semester. If I have her skip, ah! <laughs> He's really got us beat, boy. <laughs> such a. Do you have to be an insult injury by being such a gracious winner? <laughs> that you guys are new to the neighborhood? Yeah. I, that I wasn't expecting that. I I thought the band aid would seriously heal me. 
moving. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down there next to the coffee shop. That's where we live too. Small world. Yeah, easy in our the little rest eye house on the corner. You look like it too, j from how she dresses. You know that I was like our house, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? Lovely place. I don't want to take him in over your time. Nice meeting you guys. You have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye, Corgi. Maxwell happily trying on tell. Do you get the feeling he was trying to one up us? Trying succeed. I can't believe the kid's only ten. What was he even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. Too, not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave. The epic in seven parts by Amanda. <laughs> Walk on the park a bit more. Join the day. Take a nap. It's all silent. It made me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. Exactly. <laughs> nap time, motherfucker. <laughs> you don't have anything nice to say. Don't say it at all. Well, no shit. And walking over here, the heavy footsteps. Bro, you're in by a familiar face jogging up to us. Hi, tiny child. Craig? Bro, bro. Holy. Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Yeah, I cleaned up my. <laughs> cleaned him as actor. Are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> How can you tell? This is my man. This is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while too. <laughs> really don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello and hello, cute baby. Nice. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. It's a tenderest and wave it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next time we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Working out in California, just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding, man, and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley's her name. Oh, Ashley's still going by Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's all news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all cope. Pacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro, right? Cake Stan Craig is a father of three. Cake Stan Craig? Oh, <laughs> that's my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of cake stands. That thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg? Right. He wasn't very good at it. Arrow, I hate to eat that guy, but in the middle of my daily jog, I'm really gonna keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. D jog daily, or uh, jog early. January 1st, I promised myself I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year. Give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. I don't know. Hey. If I we could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. It could be bro brunch like the good old days. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. <laughs> Little wave. Puts his earbuds back on. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm really. Why is that? Craig Andrews is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. <laughs> Man, now he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce. Then he drank it like it was something. Like it was a thing normal people do. It was an un. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. He said, "I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro." <laughs> I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. Plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. And I flop onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. I'm gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit and I'll text you every day. I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Of course. You gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. If you get art school, I'll just stay for the dog. Is that what's, what it's gonna take? 
medium-sized dog handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost me for to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple need wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes lies through the mail slot. Speaking of college, she pulls it, throws it back. It's from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. It's just an envelope. It's like my entire future. Not a big deal. They're tea. I have a letter of an herb, but okay. <laughs> Let's back and forth, scan the letter. What does it say? Maybe he has reviewed your application, blah blah blah, we... Forget from you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan Crush for design. There's letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. I kinda saw it coming, I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Shin's officer told me they just wanted to see portraits or whatever. For a big hug. You're an amazing photographer, I know how much you... Your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. It's fine. You actually fine or are you just saying that? Mm. I'm fine, really. This is the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, before I forget, Amanda R and Amanda P are sleeping over tonight. Aww. So? You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? <laughs> Choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have to know. I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have a new place to yourself. What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. <laughs> I'm gonna come going clubbing secretly to mayor of this town. Union meeting. What am I even working for? What am I doing that's making me have it? I'm going clubbing, bitch. I've been going tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man, you know. All the ones that these kids' days are doing. I gotta come pick you up if you pull anything this time. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... The game? Aww. Which game? You know. The game. The one that's on tonight. Aww. The game on TV. At somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna drugs and commit some light arson with the ass. <laughs> I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. I would have expected you guys to be up to white-collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering is at least. Sure, at pop. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Yes, Dad. That's making sure. Yeah. Fun you with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? No, making fun of sports is play. Oh. All right then. Decided to clear it right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Hey, don't forget you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Do it once, do it right. You got that under control. Don't eat too close to your bedtime. Guys really did. Didn't think this plan, though. Through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. Distance, could it be? A big burnout neon sign hangs above a tight above tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? Alright, I'll do. Small and dimly lit. Crack of pool ball sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't Tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What will it be? One beer, please. <laughs> sure thing, boss. Nice ice cold beer. Take a sip and enjoy the refreshing days. Hey, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. Let me turn my attention to the game. The TV's on the walls. The team is it's not playing, but is currently in the lead. Which is always a good thing. Brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal. Does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping... I don't get into any confrontational arguments with the fan and the opposing team. I dislike, although I believe they're, they're mean and that, like me, the passion for the team is all in good fun. Hey. Oh, okay. Nearly empty wine glass sides up to the bar and sits up comfortably close to me. Oh, hello. Aww. Fresh meat? <laughs> Just moved to this part of town today. Ah. You watching it? Well, yeah, my her team's in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Hey. And knows their way around ball. And she's a little drunk. Ah. Uh, uh. <sighs> yeah. 
Well, why the fuck not? Jokes. All right, they kill your friends, and this isn't the first time I'm doing this. Cause I also gotta keep you company now. What's the latest gossip around here? Ah. Observer, watch people. I see everything. You know everyone. Nothing gets past me. So, ah. so what? Thought you were gonna. I forgot what we were talking about. About the gossip, you said nothing gets past you? Alright, also the steel trap. Confidential to a fault. So what else can you tell me about this part? Ah. That's for sure. If you want a very like life with white picket fences, is a place to do it, but every town has its secrets, you know. They're a little too ominous for my taste. It's close. Hey. Like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy. Ah, uh, maybe some other time. Suit yourself, see. <laughs> Their skilled scores and number of points. Their team playing the melee. Go team. Huh. Since I'm alone sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. I am now that we're winning. Must be room for different teams. My team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win loss record, I'd say my team is superior. Now my team is beating. <laughs> Slide playing the hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. Unspoken truth is forming between us based on mutual love of the game. He motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. <coughs> Alright, so why don't we leave this here for today? We're meeting a new character that we don't know his name yet. Um, we did meet the guy with the corgi and the daughter and we lost a daughter battle I guess. Anyway, this is once again, this is Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of today's video. And please leave me suggestions down below in the comments of games you'd like to see me play later in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you and bye bye